Okay, hello, this is Connor Bosch. So here I have my DC motor switch direction circuit um, on Tinkercad here. So um, first things first, I'm going to start off with the H bridge here. I have the H bridge, connect, H bridge connected into the middle of the breadboard. I'm going to start on pin 1, which is the enable pin. It's going to be connected to the 3.3 volt bus. I'm going to have pin 2 here connected to pin D4 on the Arduino Uno. I have the output pin connected to this motor and then I have I don't have the ground connected on this side uh, I have the the other side of the motor connected straight to this uh, output pin and then I have input pin 2 uh, set to pin D5 and now I have the the VS pin connected straight up to the VCC pin on the ninth pin of the H bridge and then that's connected straight up to the 5 volts bus uh, Input 4 pin here uh, is connected up to D2 here on the Arduino uh, Uno. I have my motor pin connected to the output. I have the other, I have the ground uh, connected on this side, so I only have one side of the H bridge connected to ground. And um, I have uh, the other side of the motor connected to the other output pin, and then I have the last input pin connected to D3. So yeah, I have the 5 volts bus up here and I have the 3.3 volts bus here, which is coming straight from the Arduino. And I have my two ground pins here. So I'm going to start simulation here. What's supposed to happen is each, pin, each motor is supposed to drive in one direction. And then after a few seconds, it's going to go in the opposite direction. So as you can see here, it's 9000 RPM, straight down to minus 9000 RPM, back up to 9000 RPM. And then same down here, 9000 RPM, and then straight to minus 9000 RPM. So I'm going to look in the code here to show you what's happened. So I have to find all my pins. This is going to allow me to transfer straight up to Arduino Nano uh, when I'm building the physical circuit. Um, I have my, in my void setup here, I have pin mode to motor A's. I have the, sorry, I have the pin mode to the motor A, uh, the first wire, which is this one, and then the second one. So motor A1, motor A2, and then same thing, motor B1, so this wire, and then motor B2. And they are all set as outputs using the pin mode function. Now in the void loop, this is what's going on. So I have these four functions here, which is the digital write function, which is going to be set a one or a zero. So it's going to set a high or a low value to each motor. So I have, as you can see, I have motor A1 set as a high and motor A2 is set as a low. This will allow the direction to go in just one direction at a time. If I was to, see, I'll show you here. So if I was to set the motor A1 and 2 as a high, they'll both cancel out and you'll see it's going to go straight to 0 RPM. So uh, that's low so i have more a1 sets high more a2 sets low so that's going to uh, turn in one direction same thing with more b i have a change high and low so it's going to go in just one direction then i have a delay here which is three seconds delay that's going to allow this loop to go ahead so each motor is going to spin in one way in one direction then it's going to do that for three seconds and then it's going to go next to this one, which is going to be the complete opposite as this, as these four functions here. So as you can see, motor A1 is low now. Last time it was high. Motor A2 is high. And last time it was low. So it's all just backwards here. So what's going to happen? It's gone. So it's going to go through this loop. It's going to go in one direction. It's going to delay that for three seconds. So it's going to be on one direction for three seconds. And once that three seconds is up, it's going to go straight to this function. And it's going to go in the opposite direction for another three seconds. So I'll show this again with side by side with the code. So as you can see, 9000 RPM minus 9000 RPM. So if I was to connect this to a, a two motors on a robot of some sort, mini robot or a car, it's going to go forward three seconds and then backwards for three seconds. Thank you.